Greg's airbrushing, and today we're going to jump into a font called Brushstroke. It's kind of a freehand versus a more deliberate line dagger stroke uh, technique that uh, sells well and it looks good uh, as it pertains to uh, airbrushing on shirts or automotive. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole auto alphabet and uh, you can take this, use it uh, however you'd like it or tweak it to where it works for you. So uh, here's the whole alphabet in a brush coat. Okay, as you can see, here's the whole alphabet. As you can see, there are certain letters that are just harder to do than others, especially the letters that require some sort of a curve. So as long as you do this here, let's uh, use the B. As long as you come in, one, two, three, that's my technique. Count to three, you should be able to make your line. Curve it, but I'm kind of like using the pendulum effect. Look at this area right here. I'm doing a dagger stroke, but I'm keeping it sharp on both ends. See that? Sharp on both ends. So this is what I'm doing for the B. Okay. Then I can come in here and do this here. So you still have that brush stroke look. Okay. You can either handle it like this where there's a dot and you have your dagger stroke going from top to bottom or from bottom to top okay or you can do it like a pendulum effect whereas you have a blade that's swinging back and forth and you're making your strokes like this here okay you're opening and closing but you're doing all of this here starting in the middle okay also, O's are Q's. See, it's just a quick dagger stroke. You can make it a little rougher or graffiti looking by adding dots to the end of it. But that's pretty much all I'm doing. 
Here's the R. One, two, three. One, two, three. And look at how I'm doing that. One, two, three. Okay? That's a brush stroke for an R. So hopefully this technique here helps you. Uh, remember, you can tweak it however you want to have it. Uh, whatever works for you. If you want to add a drop shadow to it, come in a little closer. I'll show you this. You come right here. Voila. There's your drop shadow. Drop shadow. If you want to add like a more graffiti style to it, you can kind of make it drip down if you want to do that. Okay? You can do a lot of stuff with this brush stroke writing. So hopefully it helps you, like I said earlier. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel. I'm Greg Edwards with Greg's Airbrushing. Hey guys, I'm Greg Edwards with Greg's Airbrushing. I hope the video you just watched helped you out. If you want to watch more and learn more, just click here. And to everyone out there who want to learn a little bit more about airbrushing, please subscribe here. Talk to you soon.